Guys, I'm going to make this quick. As you as you all can see, the title of this video, this uh, live, basically, I'm just going to talk about the 2022, you know, elections. Um, and uh, we know that we are prepared, just like um, a lot of these, uh, you know, countries were prepared for, you know, during the uh, coronavirus, they've held elections. Over 12 countries across the world have had elections during these uh, coronavirus. Um, it's not going to stop our process. Same thing in Sierra Leone. So everybody, we're gearing up for, you know, our upcoming elections. The local council elections, we know how important that is. Even though, if you guys remember the live that I did yesterday with, um, I showed you guys how the SLPP of, um, you know, Albert Magai, their goal was to have a one-party system. So to do away with local council elections and all of that stuff. And you guys saw how this government is basically going after, you know, the opposition members, especially local council you know, uh, councillors in the country, you know, arresting them arbitrarily and locking them up. But what I want to talk about basically is that we should be preparing for our local council elections. And that is why I'm going to bring in Marcela Samba. So um, welcome, guys. Welcome, all of you. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to talk about, you know, local council elections in 2022 next year. We should be preparing for that, uh, gearing up so that we can, um, you know, get uh, people be represented in their local councils across Sierra Leone. We know the EU has provided funding, which I'm going to show you guys all of that. And um, Marcela Samba Sisse, who is um, the uh, uh, director of programs for Campaign for Good Governance, CGG. Of course, they received over 800,000 euros, you know, to prepare for the 2022-2023 elections. So that has been um, in the works. Uh, so we know that, um, you know, across the world, different countries have had, you know, um, elections and um, it did not stop. I mean, America lost over, over 500,000 people. We still had elections, right, in uh, November. So if America you know, um, the country that lost the most people to coronavirus actually held the elections. There is no other country on the face of the planet that can make an excuse for not holding their local council elections and, of course, our presidential elections coming in 2023. So this video is just to prepare Sierra Leoneans. So for you guys in the diaspora, you know, prepare your folks back home to get themselves together, get ready, educate them, sensitize them, reach out to all of them so that they can start preparing for the 2022, you know, local council elections so they can they can um, elect their leaders within their constituencies and their wards. Because as part of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, that was one of the recommendations that was made. So, but before I go any further, I want to share one thing with you guys. And I'm going to let Marcela Samba speak for herself. And I will share a video that I've been playing for you guys of former President Koroma. Because Marcela Samba, who I will show to you guys shortly, would, um, you know, corroborate the, 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 you know, the uh, conversation and the speech of former President Koroma as far as creating an, an enabling environment for civil societies and, uh, you know, newspapers, uh, you know, journalists, that all these people to thrive within Sierra Leone, right? So um, I'm going to share that with you guys so you guys can see that and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there, basically. But I'm, I'm going to share that with you so you all can see exactly, you know, where we're going with this. So um, without much ado, let me uh, share, you know, um, Marcela Samba with you guys so you guys can see. You know what I'm talking about. The open government partnership process in the last one year in Sierra Leone has shown that government and civil society can work together and in a much more proactive manner. Now we do not shout from outside or scream through the windows. We actually sit and dialogue on the table. We are part and parcel of the decision-making process that takes place. And more importantly, there is this synergetic relationship that has been built for us in Sierra Leone. Okay, so guys, the reason why I showed you that, and by the way, I think um, it would be nice for me to show you guys the date of this video, so I want you to see this. Uh, let me not tell you what it is, but let me show you guys the date of this video because I want you all to see it. Um, as you guys can see, um, right here, you know, this video was uh, done on May 2nd, 2016. And who was in power May 2nd, 2016? Uh, former President Koroma, right? Uh, so I just want you guys to see this because this goes back to everything I've been telling you guys as far as, you know, former President Koroma creating that enabling environment. So you guys see the video so you guys can understand before I even get to the elections of 2022, the local council elections. W watch this. help of uh, international players, we quickly went into action and with the help of uh, international players, we succeeded in starting the building process. Of course, a situation like that, you cannot build overnight. 
A situation like that can only be sustained when you continue to engage the people. You give them hope. They continue to see you as a transparent and accountable leader. They see you as a leader that will give space to everybody, a leader that will ensure that the opposition is not thrown to jail because they have offered dissenting voices, a leader that will allow the civil society to have a space to continue to play their role, and we ensured that the country uh, became an open country where everybody had space to participate. This gave people hope. It triggered a lot of engagement and uh, dialogue amongst the people. And this, with the support from the international community and the funds that we generated, we ensured that resources were distributed evenly, and everybody in any corner of the country had a fair share of the resources that were distributed, the developments that was affected. So guys, why am I playing all of this, right? Like I said again, uh, Marcela Samba Sisi in 2016 corroborated the story of former President Kurumai and everything that he said, right? Uh, don't mind these idiots. They're going to tell you that, oh, Alex Kroma is paying Ibrahim. No, Ibrahim cannot be bought. Ibrahim cannot be paid. All I'm doing is nationalism. This is love for country. Uh, I have no relationship with President Kroma, no relationship with the, the, the former government, but I held the APC to high standards and I, I did everything I could for us to kick the APC out and I'm going to do everything I could again to kick the SLBP out in 2023 because they have disappointed us. So why am I sharing, you know, Marcela Samba? You know, let me show you why. We quickly went into action and with the help... This is her. Marcela Samba is the... Marcela Samba, she, like I said, she's the director of Campaign for Good Governance, right? And um, Campaign for Good Governance, I've received uh, funding from the European Union, which I'm going to share with you before I even, you know, start getting into this conversation. Let me show you guys this so you guys can see what I'm saying. That is why I'm saying it's important for us to start planning, you know, uh, uh, um, having uh, our elections. I want you guys to see this, right? Okay. So now, Sierra Leone EU launches $800,000 Euro, uh, 800, Euro democrat democratization program in Sierra Leone, right? So Sierra Leone, EU launches $800,000 Euro democratization program in Sierra Leone. The Vice President, Mohamed Jul Dajalo, Again, this was June 2020, guys. It's just been a year, about a year. The Vice President, Mohamed Jul Dajalo, the Ambassador of the European Union to Sierra Leone, Tom Vents, and the Chairperson of the National Election Watch, um, Marcela Samba Sisi. Of course, there is this National Election Watch. They watch elections, even though they've not condemned all of the. Even though, I'm going to give some credit to Marcela Samba. Not totally. I mean, if I'm going to give her a grade out of 100%, I'll give her 5% because, of course, you can tell that she was... It got to the point where she had to say something. Uh, when you saw the violence that happened in Kailaun in Kedema within the SLPP just having its own elections, and Marcela Samba, she said, you know, did not absolutely, you know, come out here and totally, totally condemn those acts of violence. But she spoke a little bit, so I'm going to give her that. But the reason for this video is for her to prepare us, the people of Sierra Leone, because she's not been doing a job. And so I want to call our attention and that of the European Union. Tom Vence is actually leaving the European Union now. There's a new guy coming, and I'm going to find this new guy. And I will share with you guys who the new guy is, you know, coming in into um, the EU. But I know uh, there's a new guy coming. Um, hopefully I'll find him. But what I want to show you guys is, um, you know, Marcela Samba here. So you can see what I'm talking about, guys, because everything we do, we have to show you guys this. So you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Um, they received $800,000 to prepare for the 2022-2023 elections in Sierra Leone. So I know she's been doing a job because, of course, Masala Samba knows that you cannot receive money from the partners, the European partners and all these other international organizations and not deliver on what you uh, the money was meant for. Of course, it's a serious problem. And I'm sure Masala Samba needs the funding to continue. And the only way she can continue to receive funding from the European Union and all these other partners is for her to execute. So, guys, I'm going to share this with you and I want you guys to see this um, again. Uh, the Vice President, Mohamed Jul Dejalo, the Ambassador of the European Union to Sierra Leone, Tom Vence, and the Chairperson of the National Election Watch, uh, knew Marcela Sambas, he say, 
has on June 2nd launched a new a two-year 800,000 euro partnership program between the EU and NEW to promote governance reforms and democratization in Sierra Leone. The launch, according to a release from EU, follows a recent call made by President Julius Marabio um, to civil society organizations and development partners to support, to support government's effort to strengthen democratization and good governance in Sierra Leone. Right? So I want you guys to see this. Let me make this real big here. And let me reduce this uh, right there. Good. So this takes on the whole screen. Good. Um, during the launch, during the launch, Vice President Julde, you know, um, Jalo Building uh, said, building a viable framework to facilitate civil society and government engagement is vital to institution institutionalizing democratic processes and good governance. Sustained engagement with CSO constitutes one of the many paths paths government intends to promote accountability and inclusiveness of course we know the civil societies have been bought by this government anyways but that's notwithstanding we believe society, civil society should be involved in setting the agenda planning implementing monitoring reviewing and giving feedback an extra pair of eyes keeps everyone's keep keeps everyone's